are you gonna charge for that beautiful color smoke set of nails? Your customer walks in and brings this color smoke set of nails. This is a look that was extremely hot in the winter, but you know what? It's coming back. The color smoke look, to get it just right, there's a few things that you need to do. Exactly how you're gonna do it, you're gonna go acrylic, you're gonna go gel, there's so many options. We want to show you the fastest, easiest, best way to execute this set of nails. I don't have the answer, of course, but good thing I've got the pro sitting right over here. My name is Tracy Ryerson. Let's go talk to her. I am excited, wow. Tracy this Ryerson. Is a lot. Color smoke is probably one of my favorite looks. Everything is your this is favorite. True. This is true. Like, it totally is. It, it, seriously. Name one look you don't like. Does it bother you? It kind of bugs me. Good. This is my favorite look right now. Color smoke is hot. It's so hot it's smoking. <laughs> Can you please walk us through the detail of how you're going to do this set? Because this is, it really is beautiful though, right? And it's hot it right is, now. It is. It, it, it is hot right now. Yeah. We're seeing it with whites and color, but that black, I mean, it was it was really popular for winter, yeah. but they're, they're loving it for summer too. Yeah, so. they are loving it for summer. Um, are you going acrylic or gel? Combo. Ooh, Ooh, really? Fancy. I'm so curious to see what you're gonna charge. I think I have a pretty good idea now that you mentioned that. Tracy, are you ready? Again, if it gets me home, yes. Let's do it. Before we get started, let's go over the product we're gonna be using. We are going to be using our Synergy Gel Base. This is really important. We're going to use our Concealer Pink and our Precision Applicator Tube. We are also going to be using Go Time Look Don't Touch, Manicure White 101, and then we're gonna use Colored Acrylics. We're gonna use Rainbow Yellow, Pop Bright Turquoise, and Rainbow Purple. Let's get started with the demo. Okay, so we're gonna start by pushing back our cuticle. Gonna grab my medium cross cut bit. This medium cross cut bit is equal to using like a medium grit file, a medium grit sanding band. We're gonna turn our electric file on. Okay, we're just gonna tuck right up into that corner. I always like to make sure the cuticle area is taken care of first. After that's nice and clean, I follow through and I remove the shine from the whole surface of the nail. Once we have that, we're gonna grab our swipe, get a clean brush, and we're gonna brush down so we pull all the dust away from those cuticles. Let's grab that protein bond and we're gonna put our first coat on. We're gonna do all 10 fingers. Once we are done with the 10th finger, we're gonna come back and do that second coat. This way we know if they're a heavy lifter or whatever it may be, that we're not gonna run into any lifting. Let's grab our forms. Let's get that on. I'm gonna grab that concealer pink. Let's build out our free edge. Okay, so guys, this is the amazing thing about this applicator. We're going to squeeze some product out and attach it to that very edge of that free edge. I'm gonna bring it to the side, make sure I'm connected to that side wall. I'm gonna bring it over to the other side, make sure it's connected to that side wall, and then I'm gonna bring it down the nail. We're just gonna form our shape. And if we need more, we just squeeze more. Now we don't need a lot because we're just creating our guide, our free edge to build off of. Make sure we're connected to the sides. And we are ready to set it. Okay, we're gonna get it in light and I'm actually gonna set it on the 10 second timer because we just need the product to stop moving. Okay. We're gonna grab our base gel. A base is still really, really essential. We wanna make sure that everything's nice and secure. You could base first and then do the free edge. I like to go ahead and put base on now because that really anchors, really anchors that free edge that I just put on. So when I go to take that form off, I don't have to worry about it breaking. Okay, once we have that, 
Let's get it in the light again. This time, 30 seconds. It's time to grab our applicator again. And we gotta build that body. Okay, so we're gonna start by squeezing the product out. Get a good amount and then I'm gonna start pillowing it towards that cuticle area. Making sure we hit the sides. Sides and as we come, I'm gonna kinda tilt that finger up. I mean, tilt the finger down, other way. And that's gonna help pull it toward the stress area where I need the product and pull it away from the cuticle area. As we build it down, squeeze some more. I'm gonna all the way down. Now I can't really see that one side because of how the camera is. So I'm gonna stop it right here. I'm gonna freeze it and then I'll take a look to make sure I've hit everything. So now I'm actually going to turn it on that 90 second, 99 second timer. That is gonna be the low heat, low light, and that way I don't feel any heat spike. Now I'm gonna explain to you what I wanna take a look at. First of all, right through here I missed a little product because I'm trying to do it and I can't see that side because of the camera. Also, I wanna check for any flat spots through here. Is there any more strength that I need that in that stress area? I have it pretty good. We might add just a tad more through here. The longer the nail, remember, the thicker we need it through here so we have that strength. But we just wanna check it in that side profile that you guys are seeing it at. That's the best view you can do. Okay, again, I'm gonna Take a look, I hope I'm not blocking your guys' view, but I need to get that side that I missed a little bit in there. Make sure that we don't have it on the skin. And then I'm gonna take a look at that upper arch. And I really don't need much, but we could just, just in case, just so you guys know what to do if you need to add. I don't wanna overthink it. I'm actually just kind of slopping it on there, getting the product where I want it. I'm not gonna try to make it pretty. I'm not gonna try to make it flat because it's gonna take me two seconds with an electric file to do that. Okay guys, so I had two options. I could have removed the form when I had just the base gel on. I didn't, I actually just totally forgot to be honest, but I still have that chance because I wanna make sure everything cures all the way through before we do our final cure, if I can get it off. Before we do my final cure with the second coat that we just put on to get that strength and structure I'm gonna take that form off now. We're gonna put it in the light I don't have to worry about doing a half power cure because I've already done that So I'm not gonna feel any heat. We're just gonna go into our final 60 seconds gonna grab our swipe we need to remove that sticky layer dispersion layer Whatever you want to call it inhibition layer Whatever it is, we have to remove the sticky. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and file and shape this and we'll get back to you with the design. Okay, I filed the nail, I've cleansed the nail. We're gonna go ahead and apply our protein bond so we don't have any issues with our gel chipping. Get that on the surface. This really does make a huge difference. If you're having any issues with chipping, your gel polish chipping from your artificial enhancements, Make sure you're leaving the nail textured. Don't buff it, don't oil it, and use Protein Bond and it should solve all your problems. Let's grab that Look Don't Touch. Okay, we're gonna grab that Look Don't Touch. I'm gonna get that on the nail. I am using both Go Time and Manicure in this set. And the reason why is go time does not have a sticky layer to it and that's going to be important when it comes to that smoke nail and manicure does and that's also going to be important when we come to the smoke nail so i'll explain it a little bit more when we get to it i'm going to get it in the light and we're going to cure it for 60 seconds okay we got our white manicure habib's finally got why we're doing it this way but okay i'm going to grab that white and take our brush and we're just gonna kinda line out what we think would be smoke. 
once we have that, I'm gonna grab our swipe. I'm gonna use a gel brush. I'm gonna get a little bit of swipe on that gel brush. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna help us kind of smear it around to give it more of a smoke effect. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit it in different areas. And see it starting to smoke out. A little more swipe. If you have too much somewhere, you can just wipe your brush off, come in and clean up where you want it to clean. But I kinda think I'm happy with it. Good enough. Okay, we're gonna put it in the light for 30 seconds. We're gonna grab our colors. We're going to grab our makeup brush. Now this is why we have used two different kinds of gel polish. That black is not sticky. The white, the manicure, is sticky. It has a sticky layer. So the powders are gonna stick to the white and not the black. And that's why we use the two different types. Okay, let's grab some turquoise. Just powder it down. Some purple. Yellow and let's grab some more turquoise. So if we had that black and that black was sticky, we'd be running into a problem right now. But since it's not and only that white is, we can just dust off like so. Now let's take, I'm gonna take a look at it really quick from my point of view because at this point, if there's a spot that you're not happy with, before you top coat it, you can go ahead and take that gel brush again with some swipe on and just clean up those areas. But I kind of am happy with it, so I think we're gonna leave it. What do you guys think? Cool. Make sure all that excess is off. Let's go ahead and grab our top coat. We'll use that manicure top. And let's just get a nice coat on there all the way through. Let's get it in the light. Gonna cure it for 60 seconds. Gonna grab our manicure cleanse and we're gonna remove that sticky layer. I'm going to go ahead and finish the look out and we'll show you the final look. We're done with our set of nails, Tracy, please. Tell me how much. 125. 125 shimoleons. Shimoleons, yes. Tracy. I want dollars. Can you please <laughs> explain yourself? Walk me through the pricing, please. Okay, 90 full set. Even though it will go really quick with our tube gels. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Right. We had uh, four additional items. Okay. So the black came with the set. Right. Then we had manicure white. Correct. And then we had three powders. Okay. So $5 a piece. Great. Additional 20. We get to 110. Um, I didn't go full stiletto. So I feel like this is a $15 shape. Okay. This is a $20 shape. So an additional 15 for the shape. Perfect. Once again, Trace, I love these nails. The smoky, the smoky color, smoky, the color smoky, color smoke nails are my favorite right now. Beautiful set of nails. We'll see you next week on How Much.